Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. So, the video today, it's on a 2002 Mercedes S SLK. And uh, the car came to me because of an issue with the roof. So, I was told that the roof had an electrical fault uh, because we would only open halfway and after that would not close again and you would have to close it manually so I got the machine out diagnostics have not plugged it in yet I had a go at it to see exactly what it would do and to be honest I don't think I'm gonna need that let me show you exactly what the roof does so what the roof does is the following so when you press the button to open as you're gonna see the windows will open all the way down the boot will open and now look at there at the inch so it tries to go it, it nearly looks like if it's, it's stuck somewhere and let me tell you it is stuck now the roof indeed will not close now if I try to close it the flash the light will flash so it will not close i will get it to close again it's no problem uh, but yeah it gets stuck and i'll show you why i know it gets stuck so if i do i don't know i'm gonna record this bloody hell okay so if i push here in the middle while i activate the button i can actually make the roof to open uh, i don't know how i'm gonna show you that but uh it's gonna be a little bit tricky this one now Okay, so, uh, let me try to place the camera in a place where you can actually see how I do it. Okay, let me see if I can show you this. So I'm going to push the button, and at the same time, I'm going to press right here. And there we go. I can stop now. I can close again. I can open. Okay, so. So when the roof actually released, released, I don't know if you could hear that sort of clunk noise, sort of something releasing. So the roof is getting stuck down here on these two locks. This is what I think. Uh, so it looks like it's not fully disengaged in here and is in these locks here and it's, it's stuck. And when I push it, I force this to open and off you go. So let's gonna see, I, don't, I never opened one of these, I don't have a clue how this works, but I'm sure we will find out. And now we can see exactly what's going on. So let's close this. And hold on. I wanna see exactly how this locks. So I'm gonna do this slowly. Okay, and now this. Uh, ram is going to retract and it's going to lock everything in place by the looks of it There we go Okay, so All right Okay, so it locks and then I thought this would stay there Why does him he... Ah, Okay, I got you now, okay so it stays there. Okay, so it's locked. So now, when we push it back... Let me try to see exactly. Yep. It looks under percent that he is catching somewhere in there. Maybe. Let me have a better look. Okay guys, and I think I found my issue uh, after uh, watching this working. Uh, there is, as this opens here, I'm gonna show you. So when you open the roof, when this unlocks, let me see if I can show you here. So you can see here, so this is closing. Okay, when it opens, this pulls these cables. Okay, there's one cable here. And there's one cable on this side. These cables, they go through there, one on each side, 
and they seem to me to unlock some sort of lock on the hinge back here so I can guarantee you if I adjust these cables here they will start to open properly okay 100% I can guarantee you if I adjust these cables a little bit more because when I do this so at the moment is a little bit so if I try to open let me open it so you can see still there we go it doesn't go anywhere as you can see okay but when I pull these cables here when I do this I can there's a lot of room look and I can feel I can hear something just behind me in this inch here kind of moving so let's go into move this a little bit that way to give more tension to this cable and this one this way and watch the result for now let's kind of close it all the way down again so it loses the cables there we go let's actually do it until it locks so that needs to close there we go okay so the car the cables are slack now so we can way easier adjust these two adjusters here okay okay can you see the difference in the position now let's try this again open boot and there we go look at that look at that guys lovely let's close again let's get a lock in there properly locked back <laughs> wow that simple it was that simple there's no point to close because I need to put the liner back on but that it problem solved so nothing more than just two cables um, the adjusters are nearly the maximum I think you could if if uh, anything you can somehow perhaps pull these cables back a little bit more if you run out adjustment but I think it's more than okay uh, where it is right now so that's it guys problem solved really Problem solved. Let's gonna put this rubber trim back in place. Someone just left it a little bit. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna wash my hands to put the liner back in. But problem solved, guys. So, nothing complicated in the end. Uh, not everything requires a scanner. And uh, that's it for this video. What else to say? Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope there's some information here you guys are going to find it useful. If you do have any questions, any comments, please, please put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.